how to sell digital art on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can get started with selling any kind of digital art on Etsy. So let's get into it. And I will be talking a lot in detail about SEO optimization and how you phrase your digital art on Etsy can really impact your sales. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now, let's take an example of something like this. So, this is a nursery set. It's elephants with wings and it is targeted as so. You guys can see you have the size, you have the color, and obviously this is like a handmade product, but if I go into art and collectibles, which is a category on Etsy, Etsy is like a artsy marketplace for anything art related. They have a bunch of different things, clothes, home and living items, wedding and party. But usually people go on Etsy to find things that are unique, one of a kind, or just interesting or artistic. So if you go on to Etsy over here, you have the pianist, custom dog portrait, blue abstract art, large canvas. And if you just search for digital art in art and collectibles, so you guys can see you have neon wolves, neon wolves, you know, a bunch of different contemporary designs, there are mock-ups, so Matisse wall art landscape. And you guys can see this is a digital art piece. They have a couple of mock-ups of this and this just illustrates what it is. It's a digital download. It's in the form of a PDF. And you guys can see it's selling at $3.90 and that is around it. So purchase this to be printed on a large canvas turned out great is an excellent addition to our living room decor so you guys can see how digital products or digital art pieces are a great way to make some income on etsy now if you want to sell on etsy it's very simple just go on to etsy.com and now you click on sell on etsy on the top right over here once you sell on etsy you can just click on get started and then you can sign in to continue so if you don't have an etsy account already you will have to create one via your email address or by your google facebook or apple id now i'm going to continue with apple because i have already created my account but if you don't have a account on etsy then you can just use the same process to sign up it's pretty much the same thing as logging in now once you have uh, created you know your account you guys will see your shop preferences so this is like the seller section so first off you have your shop preferences your shop country so you guys can see there are a bunch of different countries over here we're just going to set it up and then you have your shop currency now after that you have your shop name so uh, whatever you want to name your shop let's say I want it to be in life now this name is available depending on the availability of the name you can see whether or not it is available for you now moving on to the next section you just click on save and continue now this is the important part this is how you sell digital downloads or digital products on etsy well you have to create a listing now you might be wondering hey isn't this supposed to be for a uh, physical product well no if you actually scroll down over here you will see your listing details and over here you just select digital file and that is it that is all you have to do to get started with setting it up as a digital product instead of a physical product so i'm going to go back to the top and what you want to do is you want to add photos now in your photos don't ever add the actual art so let's say i'm selling this art piece over here so let's say this is the art i want to sell i would not be selling it like i would never ever upload this on etsy directly because that defeats the purpose of you selling it um as a downloadable product you want to create a mock-up so in the mock-up you basically use like a lower like because it's present within a picture obviously the resolution is not going to be high but what you want to do is you want to share and create a Download this as a PDF standard, whatever you're going to sell. So you want to do a PDF print and you have the best for digital use, best for professional printing. You want to select that option. This is the CMYK. Obviously, whatever tool you're using, you just want to use the best PDF print settings that you have and you want to download it as a high quality PDF just so it's easier for your customers to uh, print it out. Now, after that, you want to click on add photos and you want to go on ahead and you want to upload your mockups. Don't upload the actual image. Like, for example, 
you don't ever want to upload the actual art piece. That is not a good listing. So then you have your thumbnail, how your thumbnail is going to appear. You can, you know, save it like so. And once you have created that, you have video settings. Obviously, if you have a physical mock-up, then you can make a video of that, but I don't, so I'm going to continue. Then you have your title. Now, over here is the section where I talk about SEO. Now, on Etsy, don't ever use niche kind of names on your listing title. You want to include keywords and search phrases that people use. So this is the astronaut um, digital print. So I would use something like, so a listing title like this is actually way, way, way better on Etsy rather than a listing title that is just one or two words. Those kind of niche artistic titles work better on your own website. But if you're on a platform like Etsy where you have a bunch of different competitors that are looking to reserve the top spots in search results, then you need to add titles like this. You will see all the digital art that you are seeing. It's all pretty much the same. They're following a similar pattern of the uh, listing. So you guys can see faceless portrait, custom illustration, personalized, boyfriend gift, girlfriend gifts, personalized portrait. So they're including as many keywords as you can. And you want to do the same thing. So astronaut painting, gift for boys, best gift for boyfriend, so gift for Father's Day, whatever you want. So in this way, you can make the title. Now, after that, you have who made it. I did. And what is it? It's a finished product. And when did you make it? So let's say it's made in 2022 or 2023. And then after that, you have the category. So we will select the digital art category. You just want to sell, uh, select that like so. And you can also see what the specific item will be presented in, in terms of categorical uh, categorizations within the Etsy toolbar. Now, after that, you have a primary color for us. It's beige, the secondary color. Uh, it's very good that you add all of these optional information, especially the height and width. So in your height and width section, you want to add the measurements of your digital art piece that are the optimum measurement. So uh, the frame size that you usually take. So whatever is your frame size, let's say we have you download it and you know, you can see when you download it, you get this suggested frame size. So we have 2000 by 1634 pixels. You want to include that in your Etsy listing. The reason for that is because it's very, very essential that people know what size are you, you know, expecting them to print this on. Let's say you create a very tiny design that's meant to be framed in a very small frame, like a four by four frame. If someone buys that and it and they thought it would it was supposed to be a large frame and they print it out and it turns out to be very bad quality, obviously, because you designed it to be a four by four and they're printing it out on maybe a 18 by 16 that's just gonna not be good for you they will give you bad reviews so make sure you already add this information so you're not the one that's at fault then you have your framing home style you're also so you know it's best if you add all of this information then you have the room where do you suggest this should be added dorm entryway game room um yeah and then after that we also have the subject so let's say we have fantasy sci-fi and now after that, you have your renewal options. So this listing will renew as it expires or I'll renew my listings myself. Now, after that, you have the description. Obviously, you want to make sure to add this. So this is going to be a brief idea of your uh, painting. So a lot of people get confused, but for descriptions, you guys can see, uh, you can even take an example like this. So you have uh, all this information and you can add your instant download, how to print information, please note, uh, and also all the basic dimensions if you're adding variable size prints. So it's best if you include a description like this. You can easily copy this and uh, you can rephrase it so you can, uh, you know, find a better one, uh, you know, something that's more applicable, obviously. I'm not offering file sizes, so I'm just going to remove that like this. And you can add like a review section, instant downloads, all that. Now, after that, you have production partners. No, this is not required. Then you have your selection. So uh, you can add your first section in your store. I'm going to make a digital art section. Then you have tags. So include as many tags as you want. Then you have materials, which I'm not going to add. Now I'm going to add the price and then the quantity available. So let's say I don't want to sell more than 
50 of these just to make it more unique and then you have SKUs this is just for this is better used when you have like a physical product now you just want to upload the digital file that people will get access to so this is going to be my pdf file you guys can see this is my pdf file and I will just open this up like so and then you have returns or exchanges and we're going to click on save and continue I'm just uploading my file over here and now we will click on save and continue and just like that our listing has been created so now if I go on ahead and click on over here you have your billing so you want to enter your payment information obviously you're gonna do that on your own I'm not going to set up payment but it's pretty simple just enter your first name last name your taxpayer information and manual you can also include manual payment methods like PayPal so people can just PayPal you the money that's another way to get started and that is it so I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.